Oh, for about a couple of years now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, so what made you make the appointment? Honestly, I think working from home, just being a little bit less active, kind of going between couch to office chair. I kind of have this weird little ache happening like right here. Mm -hmm. Like I can like roll it out, but I kind of just always feel pressure there. Okay. Like my back is always a little bit tight more. Like I said, I think just the lack of steps, not being in the office, it's just, I think I need some movement in my life. I got you, I got you. So when you saw one of the posts, like, why did this speak to you? Why did you feel like this was what you needed? Honestly, just seeing any African-American doing holistic, just overall wellness, that is just super attractive to me. And I also just recently moved, relocated back to the DMV from Southern California. Stretch practitioners, like, I've never seen a lot of people of color in the industry. And to see it here, especially in the DMV area, love it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. A lot of people actually, um, talk about like how they want to come and do holistic wellness at black establishments. That's mm -hmm. kind of like a thing now. Yeah. Right? Is that a, well, like, why do you think that is? Um, like, why is that for you? Well, I'll speak for myself, just culturally coming from West Africa and just having, like, seeing my, like, mother and my grandmothers just really give us good holistic at home wellness. Like, that's always been, like, top tier for me. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, so, you know, here at the Stretch Fall, our belief is that the pain, the tension, the tightness, the aches that you feel in your body, they all come from stored energy. That stored energy stems from shock, trauma, and stress. So car accidents, slips, falls, sitting on a couch for too long, sleeping the wrong way or sleeping on the wrong mattress, um, um, or any sort of, it could be something mental or emotional, work-related type of stress, right? All that kind of bottles up inside of your body and restricts your expression. Mm. And so this is a form of release therapy, utilizing manual stretching and also guided breathing, all right? So the process takes about, about 30 minutes, okay. all right? We're gonna do a full body session which starts off with massage compression just to break the tissue down. And then I use the uh, massage gun on you, just to warm you up. Okay. And then we're gonna go through a full body stretch, okay? All right. Most of the stretches are gonna be focused around like the hips and the thighs and stuff like that because that's where we find a lot of tension build up. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, before we do that, we're gonna do a self-awareness assessment. Sure. Just to kind of see where you're holding on to stress and see what your movement is currently like. Okay. okay? All right. So Good. have you ever been stretched before? Um, no, I have not. Okay, this is your first time? This is my first time. Okay, and like, what have you done in the past to try to take care of like that hip? Um, this is kind of recent, but just like I just going to normal massages, like a massage envy or just somewhere like that, where they're just, you know, more focused on making you feel good and not really the overall wellness of it at all. Gotcha. Gotcha. Does it typically work out? Um, <clears throat> temporarily. Temporarily. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're going to find that this may be a little bit more, well, this is going to be longer lasting for you. Okay. Okay. And stretching is not something, it's not like a one-time thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like your body is going to get out of alignment, okay? You're going to continue to live life. You're going to continue to go through stress. Yeah. I want you to look at this almost kind of like maintenance, okay? All right, so the first thing we're going to do, I want you to go ahead and stand up. All right. And the first thing we're going to do is, I want you to reach down and touch your toes for me. Okay, I'm going to push on different parts of your back. I want you to tell me what feels like pain and what feels like pressure, okay? All right. All right, what do we feel like right here? Pressure. Pressure. What about over here? Mm. Pressure. Pressure, you sure? Yeah, but I got a little weak there, so the knee's shaking. <laughs> okay, what about up through here? That is pain. That's pain, okay, yeah. so pain the mid back on this side too? Yeah. Okay, all right, and what about up here in your shoulders? That is going into pain territory. Going into pain territory, okay, so come on up. Yeah. Okay, so pretty typical, we find that a lot of people are carrying tension in their upper shoulders and mm -hmm. also in their mid back, especially a lot of people who work from home or sit in front of a computer, right? Because yep. you're kind of crouched like this mm -hmm. most part of your day, right? Correct. All right, so next, I want you to come stand up against this wall right here. You're gonna put your heel, your tailbone, your shoulders, <clears throat> your elbows against the wall. How's that feel? Like I haven't been standing for a long time. <laughs> okay, any tension anywhere? Any pulling? Mm. No, I'm okay, actually. Okay, all right, yeah. why don't you come off the wall, and then let's check out your shoulder mobility. So you're gonna go here and here. You're gonna try to make your fingers touch, okay? Okay, good, switch sides. All right, perfect, perfect, good, good, good. 
All right, so I always tell people that the focal point here is not on improving your flexibility. Mm -hmm. Becoming more flexible is a byproduct of getting stretched, okay? We're here to really store tension and energy. Does that make sense? Definitely. Okay, so I want you to stand right here. All right. And you're gonna put both hands in the air. You're gonna get shoulder width apart, feet shoulder width apart, and you're gonna squat down as deep as you can. Okay, good. All right, you're gonna switch, you're gonna straighten your feet out again. All right, and we're gonna do it one more time. All right, so I'm just kind of looking for what's going on here. Okay, good, good. How did that feel? Good. Okay, good, good. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So you're gonna start off face down on here. All right. All right, let's, uh, let me grab this microphone. <laughs> Don't worry, by the time you finish this thing, <laughs> you'll be back to your roots. <laughs> That's a chai. <laughs> All right, let's take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. Again, breathe in. And let it go. One more time, breathe in. And let it go. Ooh, I can feel that. I can feel that. that tension right in that shoulder. So we start off with these compressions, Dia. Okay. To just to break down that tough tissue. Like you feel that right through here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're just gonna break that down. All right. My pressure okay? That's perfect. All right. All right, get the hamstrings some pressure. There we go. You doing okay? I'm good. All right. Now, if y'all are looking for the big cracks that the chiropractors get, you're not gonna get the big cracks. You guys are gonna get the oohs, the ahs, stuff like that. How we doing, dear? Amazing. All right. Okay. Get on you. Ticklish? A little bit. <laughs> oh, massage gun, you're jumping. Get started. All right, so we're gonna start off on your Achilles here. Loosen that up. Now, do you work out, Dia? Um, I do. All right, how often do you work out? I work out about three to four times a week. Okay. Cardio every day, though. You do cardio every day? Yeah. Okay, what kind of cardio do you do? I typically just do some walking and I have an elliptical at home. Okay. Okay, breathe in. Let it go. Go ahead and breathe in. And let it go. D, 
you stretch? Not as often as I should. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Breathe in, and let it go. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in, and let it go. Again, take a nice deep breath in, and let's go. Breathe in. And let's let it go. Good, breathe in. And let it go. Again, breathe in. And let it go. All right. Alright. Right, turn over. I'm like, it's, it's you ran out the room. <laughs> it shut me out. I would say <laughs> right now this is good being like a naturally like flexible person mm -hmm. sometimes I think I have more range than I do mm -hmm. and it's like I can definitely feel that I don't right now. But I okay. hope yeah, because you are pretty flexible. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> it's a part of the experience. All right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we got the most flexible person on the table. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? That's perfect, actually. So can you tell when I'm like reaching my limit? Mm -hmm. My body tells on me, right? Um, your expression may tell, right? Definitely. But also, you felt that, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is, I go off of what I'm feeling, like I can feel this hip, right? Mm -hmm. Like I just felt that hip shift. Did you feel that? Yep. Okay. But I'm also watching you the entire time, too. Just to kind of see what's going on. I'm also trying to focus on the breathing. I know that's like a really important aspect of this as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're really flexible. Mm -hmm. I was about to say the same thing. It's crazy. So. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for me, here I am. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> Oh, I love this because it it really mm. Mm -hmm. I stop and breathe for a second. Okay. Here, breathe in. And let it go. But yeah, there we go. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Again, breathe in. And let's reach. Point your toe towards you. Point your toe towards you. Point it towards you. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. We in there. Uh-huh. Again, breathe in. Point that toe. Point it. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Uh, what were you? That was, uh, that was to the limit. <laughs> that was to the limit? Yeah. That was okay. good, though. 
Now, do you stretch on your own? No. Okay, you're naturally flexible. Naturally flexible. Okay. Growing up, did gymnastics, did a little bit of dance, so I was typically pretty active, but with age and truthfully working from home, I... A lot of that slowed down, right? A lot of it slowed Here, down. Take a deep breath in for me. And let's breathe out. Again, breathe in. And let's go. Again, breathe in. And let's go. Can I slide up? Okay. Breathe Chinese. in. And breathe out. You should be showing this in your glute. You feel that? Okay. 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 Okay, how was that? That was good. Let's go again. Breathe in. And let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Breathe in. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna move this mic real quick. I'm gonna stick it right here. Wanna try it? Yeah. Okay. Now, were you an athlete growing up? I ran track for two weeks and then I quit. Okay. So, a lot of my athleticism coming from like, again, dance, being younger, a little bit of gymnastics, but other than that, post my two year, my two week stint in high school, I have not been any type of athlete ever. Okay. And you went to Bladesburg, right? I did not. I went to Parkdale High School, Holder Panthers. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hear this hip clicking a bit. I, yeah. Yeah. Is that causing any pain? It's not causing pain. Okay. I find like I'm typically tighter on this right side. Mm-hmm. Around the world, let it go. Around the world. I can dance with this one. Touching the name of that? You got it. Let's go. Let's go. Take a deep breath in. Point this toe towards you. Point it. Point it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I can just keep going. I was gonna ask you, do you find that maybe I guess like one side is typically a little bit tighter than the other? Yeah, all the time. Oh. All the time. Like this deck, this leg is definitely a lot looser. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and breathe out. Again, let's go. We're gonna get in that back glute. Breathe in. Let's go. Again, breathe in. Let's go. Breathe in. Let's go. 
Yes. Breathe in. Let's go. Again. Let's go. One more time. Breathe in. Let's go. You alive? I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> Here, breathe in. And let's fry out. Yes. A little deeper. Breathe in. Let's go. Oh, Ooh. pop. Again. Okay. Breathe in. And let's let it go. Let's let it go. No, we get emo on the table. She gonna be passing gas, something. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yep, that's yep. me. <laughs> and we got microphones. We mic'd up. <laughs> we should do a shoot on that. Because that's something that clients always ask. Releasing blueprints. Like people who, yep, people who release gas. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Take deep breath in. Let's go. That was great. I don't know. I just felt that in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> your whole life and your future. My whole life and my future. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I might have to name my son Ben after this. Just yeah, you want name your you want name your first child Ben? Ben number three. Okay. Okay. The whole thing. The whole the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> Breathe in. And let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay. All right, all right, all right. How was that? That, that was now good. that hit your mid back. That's where you're real tight at. Yeah. So that's probably why you really like that. I also feel like so much this is quad, right? This is hamstring. Or hamstring. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my right hammies, they are like always so tight. Yeah. Like the right side, yeah. not great. Like upper body typically. My right hand is obviously a little stronger. It's my dominant hand. But then on my left side, for anything lower body, I'm so, so stronger. So what's that about? So, I mean, muscles do two things. They get short and tight or they get mm -hmm. long and weak, mm -hmm. right? And so you have some muscles that are short and tight, which are pulling on the other muscles, which makes mm -hmm. them long and weak. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you don't have an even balance, right? Mm -hmm. That counter pull, yeah. So as we're stretching, mm -hmm. we're stretching out those muscles that are long and that are short and tight, mm -hmm. right? And on some of these stretches, I'm actually kind of skipping some of them because mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't necessarily need to be stretched. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm really trying to pinpoint on what's short and tight on you. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Sounds good. Alright. And is my level of flexibility like at all like impede in this process? Your level of flexibility? No. Remember, the focal point is not necessarily your flexibility. Mm -hmm. You know, although we like to talk about that, mm -hmm. it's more so on releasing that stored tension. So whatever's hampering your hamstring mm -hmm. is some sort of stored tension, stored mm -hmm. energy, mm -hmm. right? And so as you're stretching, sometimes you feel some sort of release or yeah. blood flush uh, rush into that area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Has anyone cried in the table? Uh, many. Many. Do you feel like you need a Kleenex? No. Okay. No. If I can't cry, I'm a crier. You're a crier? <laughs> yes. Your tears are safe with us. <laughs> okay, so why don't you shut the clothes up for me? There we go, okay, a little bit further down, perfect, right there's good. Okay, go ahead, take a nice deep breath in. Let it go. Again, breathe in. And let it go. One more time, breathe in. And let it go. I 
those, okay? Yeah. Who's watching that to me? Watching that. Here, go ahead and breathe in. And look left. Just going to right your neck. Did you feel that? Also feeling it up right here. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling your neck area? Yeah, I'm feeling, yeah, my neck and also like and the top of your shoulder. shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna take a nice deep breath in. And look right. How's that? Good. Again, I felt that in that same top shoulder area. Okay. I'm sure you you see this with a lot of, especially professional women. Mm -hmm. Like it's, I'm, I'm staying quiet shoulder. and keeping a lot of tension in that shoulders also, but just having to just relax and just allowing you to have that control. Mm -hmm. I have to like really consciously just think about that and just mm -hmm. play dead with the body. Yeah. Take a nice deep breath in. Relax your head. Relax your head. Relax your head. And breathe in. And let's go. Relax your head. Take a nice deep breath in. Let's go. Who would you say is not, would not be a candidate for this type of work? I think everyone is a candidate for this kind of work mm -hmm. because we all store tension in our bodies, right? It's a natural human thing, mm -hmm. right? Um, a lot of people have not figured out yet the benefits of having someone stretch you, mm -hmm. right? and sort of move that blood around the body, right? And oxygenate the body, which is what the body actually needs for healing. Okay. So everyone actually is a candidate for this. Even if someone's had like an injury, like if you came here and you had a sprained ankle, I could still work around that sprained ankle because <clears throat> the other joints in your body are gonna be impacted. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If you have low back pain, I can still work around that, right? If it's something that hurts, and it's, I'm gonna reduce the amount of impact that you take on with the, and those other joints and muscles. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you come on up. Okay. And I want you to just back up a little bit for me. Perfect. Point your toes up towards you. And then with your hands. Breathe in. And let's go. Again, breathe in. And let's go. It's field day. That toe stretch, I was always really good at it. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> you got an A in, uh, on field day? I got an A on field day. Okay. But I have long fingers, so I cheat a little, a little bit. <laughs> That's true. Um, <laughs> so you're going to turn the face that way? All right. Okay. And I want you to give yourself a nice big hug. Arms up here. Take a nice deep breath in. And let's go. Breathe in. And let's go. Breathe 
Three down. Three down. Yeah, just have the eye hit for me. Take a nice deep walk slide back towards me. Good. Now take a nice deep breath in. And let's let it go. Let it go. Let it go. How was that? There's no more pressure. <laughs> it's released. What if the I had? Breathe in. <laughs> and breathe out. Close your ears. Okay, and keep your elbows bent just like that. Take a nice deep breath in and drop the shoulders. You're all set. You know that like exhilarating, like speechless feel you have? I'm scared to stand up. My legs might be jelly. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, just do a few squats again. Okay. All right. So feet shoulder width apart, hands up. Make sure your feet are straight. Good, and just go ahead and squat down. Wow. Okay, come on up. All right, how do you feel? I feel good. Let me just try something else. It's been a while since I've done one of these. I just want to see how far oh, the... Whoa. I literally, I don't think I've done that in a while. Just let me stretch it out a little bit. But yeah. Feels good? Feels great. Even my, um, like, this is the amount of stretching I do, just the butterflies. Mm -hmm. But I'm typically not really able to get this far down, but. Okay. Chef's kiss. Let's do, let's do one more butterfly stretch. Why don't you just okay. turn the face, well, turn around the other way. Nope, other way, facing me. Okay. And you can go ahead and lean back for me. Lean all the way back. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Good. Let's get here. Okay. Hands up. Take a nice deep breath in. And let's go. Again, breathe in. And let's go. All right. Come on up, breathe it. Awesome, awesome, good job. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's our session. <laughs> Just finished getting your stress in, the stress love. Man, let the people know, like, you know, what was your experience like today working with them? Honestly, 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I feel like I just did a like an amazing workout, but that kind of doesn't hurt your body. I feel stronger. I feel a bit more limber. And honestly, I do believe that this is a marathon, not a race. I think with just more stretch practitioner in my life, that I'm just gonna be as flexible and as strong as I really need to be. Highly recommend, come check them out. Black owned businesses, love to see it.